Along the Mississippi River in Vicksburg, the flood walls tell the stories of the historic city through murals saluting victories and commemorating tragedies. The woman behind the project, Nellie Caldwell. It was hard work. It was really hard work. But the first mural, I thought if we could get one up, that would solve the problem. Everybody else would say, whoo, let me do that, you know. Uh, not the case. With charisma and passion, Caldwell rallied her community to donate thousands of dollars for the mural project, which has now become a tourist attraction. It's a legacy she leaves by the river. It took eight years of my life for the murals. And when I finished, I said, never, ever again will I do a project that lasts that long. But you see, Caldwell was wrong. Her selfless spirit didn't allow her to stop serving her community. And in 2012, just shortly after putting a stamp on the murals, she helped to start what has now become her daily act of service, the Lifting Lives Family Shelter. Now being what she says is the largest family shelter in Mississippi. What used to be an abandoned motel is now a place of refuge for families on hard times. Currently housing a dozen families, Caldwell and the Lifting Lives Ministries work to get them back on their feet. Just last year, they helped over 360 families with either shelter or food. They provide school uniforms for the kids and help the adults find jobs. Thank of a family being split and your kids go here and you go there, uh, I can't imagine. I you know, just cannot imagine. Mm -hmm. But uh, having, even though they are crowded, most of our families come from uh, sleeping in their cars, if they have a car, and just seeing uh, them together mm -hmm. is one of the most rewarding things. Nearly every day Caldwell is checking on residents, organizing after school activities for children, cleaning the rooms for the next family, and so on. And when the shelter struggles to pay bills, she's searching for ways to keep it afloat for the sake of the community. This kind of dedication to serving others has been embedded in Caldwell. Yes, in 1976 I started helping with Mill on Wheels um, and continue that to the day. Whether we were carrying food to families, clothes to families, um, anything like that, my mom was always the one doing it. And us kids were always the ones in the back seat going along for the ride. I cannot tell you how many times a day we'll be on the phone with her and she'll say, I gotta go because somebody from the shelter's calling. We get dropped like hot potatoes. We're proud that she's that way. And we're proud that they are able to have somebody that they can call. At nearly 80 years old, she knows the murals and the Lifting Lives shelter will be her legacy. But here's all she hopes people will say about her decades from now. I want them to say she loved people.